All right, fellas, today we're going to talk about, you know, we've been doing fire by friction. We're doing fire by spark ignition. And we're going to do today solar ignition since we got the sun coming out. I'm going to put the, um, mag the magnifying glass. Like oh, yeah, you know it, man. You know it. So this is, um... This is a magnifying lens that I keep in my little fire kit over there. Mm -hmm. And it's, I forget how many power, but I think it's five or six power magnification. So that means that um, I can take the sun, the radiation from the sun that comes down and heats our bodies and the earth and all that good stuff. And I'm going to um, try to get it to magnify down and get that light, that beam of light to get so hot that it will catch our tender on fire now we got some tender material right here but from uh previous classes this week we tried lighting just the pine straw on fire and we couldn't get it to do it we'd get it to smoke couldn't get it to burn in flame um so what we're going to do with that is um what absorbs more heat black clothing or white clothing black 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 does yeah so what i've got here is that char some char material that you guys have heats up faster yeah it does it heats up faster it absorbs energy uh and heat faster than uh lighter colored yeah, so like, clothing if you wear like long pants while you're jogging or something like black you'll start swimming oh yeah no doubt no doubt yeah so what we're going to do today is use this is char cloth we made last week mm -hmm. and we're going to get our solar uh, power going here and we're going to get this burning transfer it into some uh timber material and then blow it into a flame but let's talk about how we're going to do this and what you want to do is to get this lens propped up in a steady position to where it's perpendicular to it's this right gla here. this glass is perpendicular to the rays of sun coming down perpendicular meaning it's at a 90 degree angle from the direction of the sun rays coming down okay little bitty like a bb size on there Boom, it's immediate. You're gonna get something to burn. You're gonna get this to burn. We'll transfer that into our tender bar. So let's let's go out here and I'm just gonna show you how we do this and y'all are gonna to get to do it. Right? So here we don't have to go far. Come over here, boys, so you can see this good. Alright? Just as long as you don't cast a shadow, we'll be good. So we're gonna hold this out here and, and just watch. And once we once we see a little bit of smoke, we're good. You don't want to hold it on there too long because if you do, it'll burn up all your char material. It'll be harder to get that tender material started so we're going to hold it out here and look i can see right now that i'm going I'm to put it on my hand right there i can't i can't hold it long that's too hot okay so what i want to do is find it there it is on my hand move it over look how small that is and i've got it right on there in a little bitty hole okay i've already got fire look y'all see that burning it didn't take long at all that's burning my fingers Woo! that's hot it's, i got it oh, come here boy come here all right we'll put that thing out man it was moving fast all right so that's all you're gonna do it's pretty easy method of making fire all right if you got a box of matches and that's all you got to make fire with eventually you're gonna run out of matches have you ever tried something like like if you use a magnified glass and a match and you just put it in the sun to see what the magnified glass is like great idea let's try it right now i love experimenting like um okay here's a little kitchen match mm -hmm. so let's see if it will light on fire okay so we're gonna put it right here on the bucket let me see if we can get that thing to be still that's a great idea man great idea so let's see if we can get this thing down here i'm gonna have to get it you see how i'm twisting this when i twist it it's not perpendicular look what happens to the light you see that it gets oblong that's not gonna be what we're looking for but once i turn it and twist my uh, lens a little bit adjust it enough then i can get that thing zeroed in and let's put it right on the head of the match and look, I've got my hand propped up. Experimenting. Let's see if this thing will blow up into a flame. I've got to keep my hand steadier. It's smoking, though. Yeah, it's smoking. There it is. Boom. It worked. It worked. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. Perfect, man. That's a great idea. So it did work. So this gets hot enough to, create, to, to get that match to light. Um, so, yeah, that's a good fire method. 
oh, or this is a good fire method. Matches are open flame. This right here is solar ignition. So you guys grab you a piece of charcoal out of that uh, tin right there. And this time we know, just get you one. That'll be all you need. And, and what I want you to do is get you a little bit of that tender material, that pine straw right there. Enough to hold in your hand so you don't burn yourself. That's a good size. And just go ahead and put your char cloth in there and kind of wrap it in a little bit. Right yeah, there. something like that. And then we're gonna let you take this and hold it out there until you get it steady. Here, you try it first, Frances. All right, let's get out here in the sun. You just gotta play with it until, and that's the thing, you gotta hold it where the sun will hit it and your fingers are out of the way. All right, see? Now the sun's coming in this Your direction, in so bring it this way some. You got to go like this. Okay. Well, maybe, like maybe. Like Something, however you, you just got to manipulate that lens to where your fingers and everything's out of the way. But now look, the sun, look at your shadow, okay? So the sun's coming in direction of your shadow. You're fine. Yeah, and get it down there until you get close to that. You see it? All right, here it is right here. Keep coming towards there. There you go. Now, get it small as you can. Now, you want to get this lens perpendicular to... Heat it up. There you go. Something like that. Get it right there. And you want a little bitty... Get it small. You got it smaller? And twist that. Smaller. And, right there. Now, see if you can hold it still. There. Get it small. Oh, you got it. You got flame already. Oh, you got fire already. So, let's wrap that sucker up in this straw. And that's yours, buddy. You're going to blow that to see if we can't get a flame, okay? You hold it right there with just two fingers. Yeah, right there. Blow that into a flame. See if you can. Yep, you're going to get it. It's almost there. All right, hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. Oh, up in the air, up in the air, up in the air. There you go. So that the fire, remember, fire eats up. Yeah. So if you hold that thing down, it's going to climb up your fingers. Good job, buddy. Nicely done. All right, nice. Okay, so you're up. Let me see. It was on your hand, Mr. All right, yours is so deep in there. Let's get it out where you can see it. There we go. Get it smaller. Get that, adjust your lens until it gets smaller. Little bitty pin of light. Come down, come down. Oh, that's it right there. You got it, you got it. Let me have your lens. All right, wrap it up a little bit and blow it. Hold it up to your head. Hold it up head high. Hold it up head high. Move your fingers out of the way, buddy. Yeah. There you go. Smoke's gonna blow right back, right back in your face. Turn you, there you go. Turn your body. There it is. Put your hand down. Yeah, watch your hands. Cause the flames are gonna go that way. There it is. I right, just put it down, drop it. Excellent, excellent. Nicely done. So that's a good, easy way to make fire when you got sun out. Now, what we were talking about earlier is the matches are not renewable. Mm -hmm. Once you strike it, you can't use them again, right? Mm -hmm. This right here, how many times can we use this? One. Once? Uh, no, a million, million times. I, I, a million times if I got sun, right? This piece of charcoal out of the fire pit. I got to get my old shaky hands. All right, y'all see how I'm having to adjust and twist this until I get that little pin of light? Now, I wouldn't recommend that you stare directly at it because it really, once I get it where... Once you get it burnt, it'll come up. Can it like set your hair on fire? Oh yeah, it'd burn your hair. it will burn your skin. <laughs> Y'all see any smoke, smoke yet? Yeah. Okay, so we're getting smoke on that piece of charcoal out of the fire pit. So what we want to test is to see if um, maybe we can get a fire out of this. You know, put it in a tender bundle. So we're getting we're getting it hot enough to smoke. Let's just see. I'm gonna put it in the shade. See if we got. Yeah, look. Yeah, it's coming up. It gets fire. Look at that. Okay, so we've got that going. Let's put it in some straw. So even something like, uh, I bet we can get a fire, boys. A little one. There. Yeah, we did it. So, charcoal out of a fireplace or a fire pit like that will work. Yeah, here on a fire ant hill. We're not gonna burn the ants, but this plastic bag is their, uh, it's where they built their hill. And watch this solar ignition, man. It's burning that plastic. Are you just gonna burn the whole thing? No, just gonna, look how hot that is. It's melting that plastic. 
Y'all smell it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Some like burnt rubber. Yeah. Somebody doing burnouts. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, see how hot that gets? Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right, we'll leave those ants alone for now. For now? <laughs> for now, yeah. Y'all say hey to YouTube. Hey, YouTube. <laughs> hey, YouTube. All right, fellas, good job today.